Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how to find if a certain if a certain string or a text exists in a cell and I'll be doing this with VBA programming. To get started I already have some information in front of me. I have item numbers and I have a description of the item or this, this is just part of the description. This is the long description that has like more of the details. And what I'm going to look for in this particular example is I want to see which items contain the string spot clean only. That's what I'm going to be doing in this video. To get started, I am already in my Visual Basic environment. I have created a user form just by going to insert user form. Under my controls, I drew a list box and a command button. And in the command button, I changed the caption to scan. And so let's go ahead and get started with the code. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a loop to go through the items. And this is typically the way I go about doing it. I always put row numbers equal to one. Let's do a do loop where I increment the row number by one. Row numbers equal to row number plus one. And just to make life simple here, I'm going to do loop until row number is equal to 16, which is the last row number. So setting the variable to be at one will ensure that we start off with row number two. So we'll put item number is equal to sheet one dot range that's going to be a and the row number and I'm just going to copy and paste this to make this video quicker item description it's going to be the same thing except we're going to change the column to b and so this is actually pretty simple we're going to use the instr function to determine if a string exists inside the description. And the way that works is if instr, and we'll put item description, we're going to look for the string spot clean only. So I'm going to copy that. Toggle back to my Visual Basic environment. What this function does, instr, this is going to return the starting position of this string that we're looking for within the variable. So for example, spot clean only in the item description if we're looking at this particular one right here, it's going to give us it's going to count all of these characters all the way up until spot clean only. However many characters this is right here, that's the number it's going to give us. However, if spot clean only does not exist in the string, then it's going to return a zero value. So for example, if we're looking at this specific text and we're looking for a spot clean only, it's going to return zero because that text is nowhere in here. And so that's what we're using the INSTR function. So if INSTR is greater than zero, then that means that the item does exist. Let me set this up. I need to put the then close off the statement and what I'm going to do is to do user form one dot list box one dot add item and I'm just going to add the item number so we're going to add to the list box every item that has spot clean only let's go on and try this code out and hit F5 and let me go on and play this And there you see that we have all the items that have the spot clean only. And just so we can validate that, we'll look at item 1006. That one is spot clean only. All the items before are not. 1007 is. Yep, um, there you have it. So this example again shows you how to look for a certain string inside a variable or whatever value that you have set. And this is going to be the main key you're looking for, INSTR. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.